This is going to be one of those ones where we don't all agree. So essentially a clin is a Welsh breed, tough, hardy breed. We'll be making our way this way because I'm going to lure them in by pretending that I'm feeding them right now. Roast me in those comments. The world's toughest sheep. <laughs> Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, today we are talking about the toughest breed in the world. We're not going to agree on this, as I said at the start, some of may say yay, some of may say Cammy, have you never heard of a Herdwick? But before we get into the sheep, people are asking me what rams am I putting on the Shetlands? I'm going to show you a couple of them. It's a sign of the times. These are Clinton Cross Aberfield top lambs that were sent down from Big Sean in Orkney. Check out Lager Livestock on Facebook. Big man's having a go at it now, he's making videos and stuff as well. Great, honestly great, terrible dress sense, absolutely horrible. And there's obviously just the face as well and stuff, but he's intelligent and he's good at talking about livestock, so it's worth a watch if you're into that kind of thing. If you're not into that, how did you even come to be watching this? Clint Cross Aberfield. So essentially a Clint is a Welsh breed, tough, hardy breed that produce a lot of lambs but also can run on essentially a lot less than like a scotch mule or maybe a softer type anything with a blue face lesser in it is a little bit softer in case you weren't sure so that's the clin part and also the white face is the clin part the aberfield part essentially aberfield's this um hybrid breed that's been invented i don't know if any of us have the tm on that trademark but it's a combination of a few things, Texel, Blueface, Leicester, I think, to make this breed that's a bit of everything. Essentially try to keep the best genetics to make the perfect sheep is what they're striving for. And it's a New Zealand based thing that they're doing because because New Zealand, they're not, they're not farmed for subsidies. They have to make money just from the farming. Moving forward with Brexit and things like that, it's probably something we need to think about. Farming without subsidies. But that's for another day. We're here to talk about the toughest breed in the world. As if I'm not embarrassed enough about it, he's actually wrote my name on them as well. <laughs> Let's get him in the trailer. I have another top that I'm going to take to the Shetlands. But he's in with the rest of the boys somewhere in the background there. They'll be making their way this way because I'm going to lure them in by pretending that I'm feeding them right now. But I'm not. And I don't have a bag to shake. I should I could have went and got one, but I didn't. That loose guy. This guy's not helping. Come on! That loose guy! Come on! So I'm gonna lure them in. Come on! You're getting fed! Honestly, you're getting fed! Come on! It's not a trick! See that? Just keep keep up the facade. Facade? Pretense? Lure them in. Come on! He's a big unit too, so it'll take a bit of fighting. I definitely need to put this camera down or it'll get broke. Come on! Can't. Guys, I've been through the walls, boys. Can't. What are you doing? Can't. 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 Don't ever let it go. <laughs> I'm tired, I don't know if the camera caught that, but that? I could buy slow-mo later. Oh, big boy. Oh. Gonna go and do some work. Hello, Sky. Just kidding. Absolutely fine. A wee bit dirty. But it's great fun, isn't it? Now, let's take the boys to see the girls. I was thinking of some um, Paddy McGuinness take me out type thing there, but I'm not sure what he says. Let the kebab see the sauce. <laughs> Probably the hardest job we keep in Shetlands is getting them into the pens. So let's do that first. And I'm only taking the drone for this because doing too many things is hard enough 
just getting them in. And I'm going to use the drone if I need it as an extra wee cap. Let's get them in. If you're watching now, wondering, Cameron, why are you soaked in sweat? It's not because it's a warm day, although it is a lovely day for November, it's because Shetlands are a nightmare to work with. I, honestly, no one, you Shetland boys, no one needs to take a drink. We jokes, we jokes. But I'd be taking a drink if I was working with these things every day. Here we are, the world's toughest sheep. Can't wait for the comments on this one. Not just tough because they're so hardy and they're used to living in the Shetland Isles, but also because they're tough mentally on the farmer when you have to be gathering them all the time and they just run the way Shetlands run. Fair play to you guys, they are just a wild sheep. But they are bra. Someone said if I say Scottish words to explain it, so bra is like they're nice, they're good, they're attractive, pretty. Bra just means so many things, it's just a positive word. There's the dogs going to get a go there. That's also a Shetland, you may have thought that was a goat, that's actually a Shetland as well. But a fantastic hardy breed. The origins of the Shetland sheep, they are from the Shetland Isles, believe it or not, hence the name. Come all the way, that's the most northern island of the UK. And they're not far off, say, like Iceland up towards Greenland, they're really far north. Really harsh winters, so sheep like this are perfect because they're so tough. The world's toughest sheep. You don't see too many of them this low down. Part of that is probably because our ground's pretty good down here. The winters aren't as bad, they are pretty wet, but they're not as harsh and cold and probably very windy and bare and dark as they are up in Shetland. So obviously the more darkness, the less growth. Not that grass grows much about here in the winter, but there will be still slight improvement on what they boys get up in Shetland. Big thing with the Shetland sheep, they've incredibly soft wool, a very good wool for the hard cold winters. They're small, fine bone sheep, they don't need a lot to keep them going all winter, which obviously is essential in the harsh conditions up in Shetland as well describing. And it works well down here because it means you can run a lot of them. Another benefit for us down here, they're not expensive to buy. Shetland sheep are quite cheap. More expensive this year than normal, but you'll generally pick up Shetland sheep for around £40 without too much of a struggle. A lot of these were kind of £40, £45. I would say these are quite big looking Shetlands, especially the red backs that I got. I'd say they're quite big looking Shetlands, although I'm no Shetland expert, you guys watching can maybe tell me. But they are a fantastic breed. Really good, not good to work with, but really good for the habitat and environment they're bred for. And the great thing with Shetland is, any lamb's a profit. Science. Shout to the guys at Mayo Bolus. Sending me out 100 bolus to try. The big thing with the Smart Race ones that I was using, as I say, they work great as far as I was aware. I know I blood tested and it turns out the sheep didn't really need them, but 
other people I've heard say they work great. Vet Kaz is a big fan of them, says they, they do great. These Mayo ones, I don't really know anything about the composition comparisons or how well they really do. I can't give you comparisons in terms of so many sheep done this way and so many this way. All I can say is they're a damn sight smaller, so they're gonna be a lot easier to do these Shetlands with because those Smart Race ones are a bit big for Shetlands, in my opinion. Boys, you'll be glad to hear. We're finished with the bolluses. Time for you boys to get out. So my plan with the Shetlands here is two thirds of them go on this bit and the other third go into another bit. And when you see the tops, oh no wait, you saw the tops. Two of them are friends. They can go out with the bigger lot and the other boy can do the other third. He's getting slightly more than a third because he's a big lad as you saw me try to catch him. And when I talk about grass being a bit more available down here in Ayrshire, as opposed to Shetland, this stuff's been left just a little bit too long. Just not enough sheep is my problem. But these girls will do great. They're used to living on fresh air, so to actually have some green grass in their mouth all winter should do them good. No long till scanning time. That's it from this one, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you clicked the subscribe button, gave me a thumbs up, roast me in those comments about the toughest sheep in the world. Maybe somebody from Iceland will be watching this saying, nah nah mate, Icelandic sheep are the toughest. Or you Welsh boys will be going on about the Welsh mountains, you Cumbrian lads will go on about the Herdwicks, hardy sheep as well, fantastic sheep. But the Shetland boys, come on, like, where would you rather winter, Cumbria or Shetland? Cheers guys. Didn't let go again. What's that? Didn't let go. Nah, I'm an absolute.